Hi, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Shui Wang from Renmin University of China, and I will present our solution to the uh, predicting media interestness task. Firstly, I will present our system details, including feature extraction and modeling. Uh, then I will discuss our experiments and the results. And finally, I will draw conclusions. Our system contains two parts, feature extraction and regression. I will discuss the details in the following slide. For feature extraction, we use R and the Bureau features. For all the features, we extract and map CC features from each video clips and create their bag of audible features. For visual features, we utilize all feature provided features, including Alex Snap features, color histogram, and so on. Additionally, we also use the frame level feature from the uh, document layer of the inception V3 which is retrained on more than 1 million images of ImageNet data. We use regression model rather than classification model because regression can contain more statistical information. For example, we can know not only which video clips are interesting, but also the level of cheapness. We utilize this back regression and random forest regression as our baseline. We use free search to choose the hyperparameters. Based on the procedure of annotation, we employ a more advanced model in deep right model. The procedure of annotation is to pick uh, the more interesting image or video clip from a given data pair. The first idea we think of is to simulate the pair conservation procedure. And our aim is to obtain a model which can give interesting images or video clips high score and give the boring ones low scores. So we utilize pairwise right models and propose the different model based on oral and viral modalities. This is our different model structure, which is the famous network which started with uh, a bit shared with. We named the two branches as positive stream and negative stream. The inputs are two video clips with different level of interestness from the same video. We input the high level one to the positive stream and the low level one to the negative stream. The output of each branch is a flow number between zero and one, which denotes the interestness level of input video clips. Using the output of two branches, namely interesting score pair, we can calculate the rank loss. Minimizing the rank loss, we can make the model give the interesting image or video clips higher scores and more plus low scores. As we can see, there is a hyperparameter named part. If it is set too large, that network may not achieve convergence, but if it is set too small, the network may have a weak prediction of weak. Given the rank loss formula, the loss can be determined by the value of P and N, namely data pair. How can we get the data pairs? We try, the, uh, we try to use different strategies like the threshold below the gap of interestness level between positive and the next data, the same data pair. We have four strategies, which are the gap is larger than or smaller than a threshold, or in or out of a specific range. We empirically choose the first strategy and set the threshold as uh, 0.55. That's all about our system detail. And uh, now I will show you the experiment at the start. As the table shows, we split the given day set into groups with motion of 80%, 10%, and 10% respect. In most subtasks, we utilize different features and regression models. In each subtask, we find that the pairwise writing model shows better performance than in general, and the deep neural network features are more distinctive 
for each nest prediction, uh, which is not surprising. In videos I've passed, early buildings applied over various viral features and the MFC back of the world speed. The results are generally the same, uh, the, uh, the same with the conclusions of Indusat path. Our ranking model outperforms this lab model in general. Given the experiment results, we picked the inception with three features and the Paris ranking model as our final choice for submission. The results on real tasks that are shown in this table. We can find two things. One is that the mean average precision of any subtask is higher than video. Then the other one is that the in video subtask, the normalized image input performs better than the original uh, in image input. Uh, in normalized images, each pixel is built into the steward plot. We draw three conclusions on this path. Firstly, the inception of the free feature is distinctive. And secondly, the purpose rightly model proves to be effective. And uh, thirdly, the strategies of the big sampling are essential points. And furthermore, after investigating the testing set, we found out some interesting uh, phenomena. For images that images containing very uh, various themes can write as fast, but a series of images with dark spectra goes in slow mean amplification. For videos that have videos with changing audio contents of relatively low mean average precision. Uh, that's all. Thank you.